to see the Red Warrior on the side of Super Ejects. Okay, let's see. Who plays Link? Who plays the Link Shaman? Colo is playing the Link Shaman. Absturge? Don't, doesn't look like he's playing the, the, the you, he's playing the regular Link. You can actually tell if the Spirit Link is right beside Tremor Totem, then he's playing the Link Totem. If he's playing the Spear Link where you sync up everyone's HP, then it's on the right-hand side huh. of the UI. Okay, well, that's good to know. The, I didn't more, know you, that. the more you know. Well, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, um, the CC chain uh, has been initiated. Triple Fear beautifully done by Smexin, and they are getting Jelly Beans pretty low, broking that tank trinket. So, most likely, we're going to be seeing, uh, you know, six uh, Veiled Eyes in this matchup. Uh, and again, the strategy here for the jungle is to trap up Colo, make sure that that Spirit Link falls off, trying to delay the trap when the Spirit Link is about halfway through the duration, and then try to get that big juicy bite just chomp off a piece of envious I mean, if you're with gay sounds delicious honestly it is <laughs> what would a rep paladin taste like cotton candy probably metal metal <laughs> <laughs> okay that was too realistic man. i was just kidding yeah then just start rping <laughs> <laughs> Just shut that down real quick. No fun. <laughs> There's a full trap on Nicolo. Envious taking quite a bit of damage. And honestly, Jelly Beans and WizK have been doing a good job pressuring down Envious and Smexin. And we kind of talked about WizK. You know, he's known for the Shadow Priest of Honest Feral Druid. He's been putting out a lot of pressure. All right. I, I really think that the Ghost of Crew should experiment attacking Colo and just trying to cleave the whole team. It's something that no one has really tried. Jelly Beans caught in a storm, but good cross stun by the Super Rejects. Jelly Beans likely playing those bandages, trading out a huge shield on himself during that cross crowd control and able to soak up a lot of damage as a result. Looks like his pet went down. He fake cast the Winchurk gets the revive pet just before. Oh, the Spirit Link is going to fall off because of that. Ooh. Did he have yeah, any he... fall off? Did he have a stun? No. Oh, oh, there oh is. one second too late. Wait, did he not link everyone? No, 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 he didn't. But uh, he got the hand of Sanctuary, so he's going to he's gonna be fine. He's chilling. Yeah, he's doing pretty healthy. He's pretty healthy right now. Well, Full fear on Absurge into a Hammer of Justice. Wiz K is going to be activating the survival instincts, kiting away. It's a very powerful feral defensive. They only have limited charges, so that's not going to be available for quite some time. All right. So um, the Valdai there procked off of Smexin because he didn't have that Spirit Link. I really think one of the most important things in this matchup is just for the whole team of the Ghost Crew to keep swapping sides. You just keep kiting the Super Rejects as one unit. Jelly Beans can use those Hunter slow traps and knock traps and all the other stuff that he has at his disposal to slow down Super Rejects. This is the win condition of the su uh, of the Ghost Crew is either trap Colo and uh, make sure that Link falls off and then take down either Envious right there who doesn't have that slip Spirit Link or smacks in or win on that map advantage since Absturge is not playing it and on the flip side the super rejects they want to just be running at jelly beans and trying to take him down brute forcing it with that rat and warrior burst damage you're gonna see another trap uh, onto Colo here let's see what can happen yeah, the mana advantage is the only thing I think the Gozu crew are playing for right now it's unlikely they can drop spirit link because the crowd control chain just isn't long enough because they're missing that one diminishing return the cyclone fear diminishing return they're dealing decent pressure holding envious at low health. Absurge has opted to commit his ascendance to boost his teammates back up to full HP here shortly. Jellybean's just kiting WizK as well. I think it's a smart move because they don't have to do damage to Runcolo out of mana. Him just applying Spirit Link will burn his mana slowly. So if WizK and Jellybean's focus on avoiding damage and letting Absturge not spend as much mana, they can win that way definitely. No question about it, but Absurge and Cole are actually relatively even on mana at this point. Smexin's going to be moving in, looking to pressure Absurge just a little bit, getting into battle stance. Envious not able to connect there, but you can see WizK, like you said, he's oh. just going to be jumping around. Nice interrupt over on Nicolo. That might provide an opportunity. They can get an interrupt on Colo into a trap. That's a good way to make the Spirit Link fall off as well. There's the full trap. He actually refreshed it right before the trap, so I think Envious and Smexin should be okay. Yeah, I mean, the pressure is still mounting, and it feels like the game is in favor of the Ghost Crew. Let's imagine this was 50% dampening, right? Well, the thing is off. Je oh. Jelly Beans is doing what I was talking about earlier with the, with the Knock Trap. The Knock Trap is actually so key, they could get the bubble. Oh, nice cross. They might get this. I don't... Mm, he's being really greedy. Okay. They got it. They're going to trade out the Divine Shield, so... All right. So what, what Jelly Beans does is 
he roots Colo when the, the whole team of Ghost Crew are kiting the Super Regics away, and then off of that undispellable Survival Hunter root, he drops the, the Freezing Trap, and then he knocks Colo away, and right now Colo doesn't have Spirit Link again, so he's looking to get that trap. Is he gonna get it in time, though? Come on, Jelly Beans, I believe. That doesn't look like he's gonna be able to, unfortunately. Hex over onto Absurge gets dispelled immediately by Wiz K. Everyone's kind of rotting down from the Ghost Who crew right now. Wiz K is just cutting away, Jelly Beans cutting away. This is <laughs> what we've seen before in matchups like this, where you're just trying to avoid as much damage as possible, sort of stall out the game. If you're onto Absurge, Jelly Beans, he doesn't have a pet. Envious and Smexen killed it off. He's trying to get the resummon, but Smexen and Envious have been doing a good job shutting that down so far. Yeah, he's, he's committing Hammer of Justice even. The only player in this arena that does not have the Veiled Eye is Jelly Bean's pet, so it's kind of smart for the long game to focus on it and just take damage away from Jelly Beans moving into a longer match. And they've been denying this revived pet for such an extended period of time that Jelly Beans is effectively doing nothing. It's not a player. All right, hey, Jelly man. Beans. Pets count. Once again, looking for the revive, gets interrupted. Smex and Envious and Colo shutting it down. And if they can continuously interrupt this pet, Jelly Beans, instead of focusing on damage, which is going to tax Colo's mana, give them an opportunity to I've get damage. I've seen this before, though. man. Do you remember Walrix? When his demon oh, went down yeah. and he didn't get it back for like four minutes straight? This uh oh. Literally. Oh, <laughs> he could have just done this two minutes ago. Yeah, but you, you always want to hope and believe that you can get it off without having to trade out the aspect of the turtle. It's a really long cooldown. We're at 10% dampening. Jelly Beans, no exhilaration, no aspect of the turtle. Now, uh, Envious and Smex, and they really have a clear target in this matchup to pressure down. Stormbolt now on Jelly Beans as they continue their assault. Colo's mana is a little bit behind Absurge at this point in the game. So, like we said, if Ghost Crew can sort of stall out the game long enough, maybe they can oom Colo, but... It seems like most of the pressure is in favor of Super Rejects. All right, Jelly Beans kiting away. Wiz K trying to maybe just dot up the team and avoid being attacked. But Jelly Beans still under fire, and Absurge is not in a great position with this intimidating shout from Smexen. Jelly Beans is in a lot of trouble. Luckily, Absurge did free Earth and Wall Totem, so he has quite a bit of pressure here for his team. Envious still with no Divine Shield for another three minutes. The Ghost Crew really need to capitalize on that before three more minutes can elapse. Do they have enough crowd control? No knockback trap on Cola to split the team up. Jelly Bean still taking immense pressure. Using the knockback on Smexen just to stay alive. Yeah, he's just kiting. He's flailing for his life at this point. But Colo, Envious, and Smexen rotting down. Wizk in the meantime, he's been doing a good job just making sure he has pressure on everyone from the Super Rejects. And keep in mind what's on the line for Super Rejects. Gosu Crew, their BlizzCon spot, it's relatively safe. For Super Rejects, they need to win the series if they want to keep their BlizzCon dreams alive. All right. Colo's mana now at a disadvantage to Absturge. And it's slowly but surely looking like Gosu Crew might be able to crawl away with this. Jelly Beans is just kiting the entire game. Survival was a melee spec, but Jelly Beans is playing it almost as a ranged spec. Landing a trap. Let's see if they go for the knockback out of this to try and split up the team. Doesn't look like he wants to go for it or has it available. He's instead just choosing to kite away, drag this fight on for as long as possible, drain Colo's mana bar. Colo looking for some cheeky hexes. Although there's double D curse, so this hex is unlikely to actually result in anything. Whiskey instant dispel. Nice play. Yep. So, Cole using a little bit of time there to get that hex. Unfortunately, doesn't really do too much. And with Jelly Beans not having a pet in this matchup, it, it becomes difficult for him to do damage. Like we said, he's just trying to kite, trying to survive. There's a full the trap on Colo. So yeah, the Spear Link is off. Envious has to trink it out. He gets caught into the stun, but he activated his defensive cooldown, giving him a nice shield, and he ultimately manages to survive. All right, Spear Link reapplied by Colo. His entire team starting to rot, and I think triple dotting is the strategy that the Ghost of Crew need to employ. Everyone's in a bit of trouble here. Polo struggling, drops Healing Tide Totem. Really needs that boost to try and stay in this fight. Absurd pre-Earthen Shield Totems on the Stormbolt of Jelly Beans, denying any sort of kill potential there. The Jelly Beans has survived to the point where Aspect of the Turtle will be available in seven more seconds, so he will have that defense to rely on. In the meantime, Envious' Divine Shield is 27 seconds away so it's almost a reset defensive cooldown wise in this match but mana lead in favor of the ghost uh oh envious in a lot of trouble can absurd purge off the blessing protection manages to get it colo in a lot of trouble right now needs to top off his team jelly beans there was k there as well 
So much pressure. 10 seconds on the bubble for Envious. They need to hold on just a little bit longer. Once again, Jelly Beans Pets gets killed off. Gets caught into the storm. Bolt Capstone coming in, but it gets killed off. Nicely done there by Jelly Beans. Finally going for that revived pet. Bash on Nicolo. No interrupts available. Jelly Bean has his pet back up. Aspect of the turtle available. There's a full trap over on Nicolo. Envious could be in some trouble. He does have the uh, Divine Shield. He's key defensive, but he needs to make sure he can get it off. I feel like this is going to be the Gozu Cruise game at this point. Colo's completely tapped. Everybody's low on his team. Jellybean still has two major defenses between Spirit Link Totem and Aspect of the Turtle. Stormbolt attempt here to take Jellybean's life. They need to kill him quickly. He's going to trade out some big absorbs with that Veiled Eye procking, denying the kill. Colo is on the ropes. The Gozu crew have finally tapped out the enemy team. How much longer can Colo keep this going? Spexen sets up for one final push here. Intimidating shot on Absurge, but there's just not enough damage. Jellybeans is kiting them out, playing this war of attrition out perfectly. Yeah, this reminds me of a Frost Mage. Jellybeans cosplaying him right now, just trying to get away and put out as much pressure as possible. Stall out the game. There's the trap on Colo. Envious is forced to use his Divine Shield as they make a push to take down Jellybeans, but the Gosu crew, they have all the tools they need to survive. Yeah. They have Trinket Link. They have damage to take down Smexen. And ultimately, in sort of a surprise fashion to me, Ghost of Crew, they are going to take game number one. It's crazy how many times we actually can see those bubbles go off right now. The Divine Bubbles coming out from Envious. He's able to extend quite a bit. This is a highly unlikely. I, I believe in you. Both, there is both, there both. are so many people talking in chat, so we know they're at least over 1,500 rating. I believe in you guys at home. You can definitely get it going. But let's take a look at the Ghost of Crew versus the Super Rejects. The Ghost of Crew going to be leading here by one. So Colo, he's actually playing Adaptation. The Diamond Dice coming in from Jelly Beans. Uh, Colo doing a good job, I think, reading that. So Diamond Dice going to be used on the Colo to remove that. Maybe an opportunity for the Ghost Crew to get some damage done onto him a little bit later on. I have to see how the Ghost Crew responds. Who are they going to go on? I don't think... Sidu wasn't playing Spirit Link Town, was he? In this specific matchup, no, I, don't, no. I don't think he no, was. he wasn't. You're right. The Ghost of Crew can just drag this out and run Colo out of mana. I mean, they're just owning they're just the killing whole team. everybody. This is not the correct talent choice from Colo, I do believe. Yeah, now Diamond Ice is going to be used, slowing down that heals. And th that's, that's what I like from the Ghost of Crew. They're not afraid to switch it up on the fly. I think their main objective in this game is going to be go on Colo, trap Colo, go on Colo, rot down everybody. Yep. Now he has the adaptation. He's going to get caught into full stuns. Look at him. He's falling behind on healing right now. Already using his ascendance. Envious falling behind. Barkskin's going to be used. The Ghost of Crew is just smashing the Super Rejects. I mean, this is what you should do against the Spirit Link Shaman. Just attack everybody. Make it a panic for the other team to try and recover. They need to try and get that adaptation out of the way as soon as possible. That Diamond Ice Trap is going to be key for Jelly Beans in this game to remove that trinket option from Colo as frequently as possible. Folks, if you're going to take a page out of somebody else's book, make sure that you read the page because we can see right now Super Reject not enacting the strategy the way that we saw it actually take down the Gosu crew and now the Gosu crew has found the weakness in that link. Uh-oh, Kolo is in so much trouble. He got knocked out of that Earthen Shield on him. He has nothing left to survive. Just trying to kite away. Jumps back in. Envious connecting a big heal on him. But look at Kolo's mana. Already at 30% absurd, 100% mana. Gosu crew has every single defensive cooldown they are very very <laughs> they're do, they're doing quite well in this matchup so far yeah i mean the nice part about this is i think this strategy even against a non-spirit link shaman is still the best one just attack and maybe put more craft control on the moonkin uh if they're not running spirit link triple cap totem from absturge and i mean th they're making it look like they're outclassed in this match there's really no pressure for the side of super rejects towards the gosu crew and it's looking like they're going to be cleaning this up very shortly. <laughs> Basically, it's That was kill. utter domination. Yeah, that, that was ridiculous. Ghost Crew just walked all over the Super Rejects, and that's one of the things uh, we see in these tournaments sometimes, you know. HP, so uh, TLDR, Spirit Link makes you take a lot less damage. If you crowd control the buff off, uh, they take full damage, and there's no any good way for the Shaman who plays it to instantly top somebody uh, after it's fallen off. And we can see uh, in the gates, it looked like Colo for a second was going to play that talent, but he switched to that emergency button of the actual totem. And now the other thing that I do want to note is the Gosu crew, as the gates have now opened, are trying to play for this victory for the 3-0 and to get the rematch against Method Orange in our next match, which is going to be the NA Regional Grand Finals. Yeah, a lot of pressure for both teams very early on. Jelly Beans and Whiskey seem to be focusing down Smexen, actually putting pressure on both Envious and Smexen. Colo, it's... Uh 
not get this crowd control just yet. Jellybeans looks like he wants to just bait out that grounding totem. Finally gets that full trap onto Colo. In the meantime, though, Jellybeans taking quite a bit of damage from Smexen and Envious. Smexen rotting down. Trinket will proc to keep him alive, but that's a small victory for Gosu Crew. One of the advantages as Enhancement Shaman is you have an honor talent called Ethereal Form, which is a reduced cooldown to your Astral Shift and makes you immune to physical damage. That's usually the honor talent you want to run versus a melee cleave such as this with a Hunter and a Feral Drew, but Smexen isn't running it, so he's going to lose twice the amount of defense, and if the Gosu crew see that opening, I actually think Smexen is a very vulnerable target. Ooh, Whiskey coming in with big bites again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Smexen in a lot of trouble, uses the Astral Shift. That's a full trap on Polo into a bash. Manages to weather the storm, gets out of it. Smexen should be okay. Envious throwing out some off heals as well, but Envious now rotting down. Gosu crew, they're doing a hit and run strategy. They go, they go in, they get the trap. After that, they allow Absurd to recover by trying to kite away, trying to get little resets, baiting in the enemy team of the Super Rejects, and that's when they can get the full traps on Akolo, get the damage rolling on Envious and smacks him. I was, I was just going to say, this is the first time we've really seen Peekaboo on the bench. I feel like he was a pivotal person in almost every composition that the Gosu crew had, and now they're really showcasing this tournament that even with Peekaboo on the bench, they're a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I mean, they've been doing a good job with it so far. They played the jungle yesterday. We were very impressed with Liz K's performance. And in these last two games, they've been looking dominant as well. Super Rejects trying to find pressure, but Absurge has a lot of mana. Everyone's got cooldowns. Wiz K making sure he's never overextending his position, compromising his position, and taking too much damage. So the strategy here from the Gosu crew is right there, Jellybeans is going to be charging in, trying to land those traps, and whenever they do, they're going to be targeting Smex in there, trying to land a big, big chunk of damage there, and then they force a, a cooldown, in this case the Trinket Spirit Link, from Colo, and then they want to be running behind that pillar again, waiting for the stun that they can use onto Colo, waiting for the trap cooldown, and then they want to be doing this again. Next time, most likely, that Astro Ship, which is two seconds left, is going to be coming up for Smex. In. He's most likely going to have to use that, and then after that, we're going to have a lethal opportunity here for the Ghost Crew to actually end the match. Well, here's the thing. They just randomly proc the Trinket on Smexen, so that's going to be huge for when Polo goes into the next trap. He's not going to have that available as a safety net. Jellybeans leaps over, looking for the full trap on Akolo. Envious responds with a Cyclone <laughs> on Jellybeans to slow down that you know CC. You know what's funny about this? Jellybeans thinks Colo is going to ground his trap. Colo isn't playing Grounding Totem. <laughs> so he's just never going to use it. He lands the Freezing Trap. This is where they need to force Astral Shift, as Zico is pointing out, with this cooldown window. Or just kill him. I mean, this is a lot of damage. Smacks it down half, but it's not enough damage to force... It's not enough damage to force the Astral Shift. They're going to lose kill potential on the next trap. Well, Smexen's playing both of the tank trinkets in this matchup, so that's going to make him exceptionally durable against Jellybeans and Wiz K. So, uh, the big thing here is Colo's trinket has about 45 seconds left on it. Every single time they land a trap where they don't pull out one of these big defensives, that cooldown gets reset, and it's up to Envious to be shutting down these setups, because he is the only one who's going to be free. Every time Colo gets trapped, Envious has to juke those interrupts, meaning he has to fake cast those interrupts, and then land side and off heels to support um, Smexin in that kill opportunity. So as long as they can stall out the game, uh, the Super Rejects will win this match, and it's up to the Ghost Crew to keep uh, doing these hit and runs essentially until Smexin runs out of cooldown and falls. So it's a lot about uh, staggering their offensive cooldowns because he, Jelly Beans has that aspect of the Hawk ready, which is his big, big burst cooldown. You never want to use that in con uh, together with Berserk because then you're trading two offensive cooldowns just for that one Astral Shift or that one Trinket from Colo. So you want to be staggering those out, spreading them out using one on each hit and run, and then uh, eventually withering down all the cooldowns from Super Super Rejects until you can win the game. I think Smexen not running Ethereal Form is going to cost them this game and the series at the end of this. If we get into deep dampening during a freezing trap, Astral Shift might not even be enough on its own for Smexen to survive. And it seems like the strategy for the Super Rejects has been lacking against the Gosu crew. And it's likely that they're going to advance 3-0. to zero. I don't see any significant openings right now for the Super Rejects. Yeah, it is very difficult. They just seem like they're on the back foot. Gosu Crew has this game in control. But that being said, Smexen on the Enhancement Challenge. We've seen him do significant damage before. Anything really could happen when you have a Boomkin and an Enhancement Shaman hitting these relatively squishy targets. All right, that's the Veiled Eye for Envious. So he's a vulnerable target with this Freezing Trap secured onto Colo. Both of his teammates dipping low. 
That's going to proc Veiled Eye on Smexen. This is a great crowd control chain. Now they're stunning up Envious. They've managed to get his trinket out of the way. In the meantime, Abstridge's team has finally taken some damage from the Super Rejects. Abstridge trying to recover and be greedy at the same time. It's going to be difficult under this amount of stress, but he seems to be doing a good job so far. Yeah, Colo tops off his team quite easily there. Still has the trinket, has the spirit link, a lot of tools left to keep them alive. We're at 7% dampening right now. Gosu crew going for a little bit of a reset. Like you said, Sid, they were falling a little behind, but with this, you know, pillar, they're able to avoid a lot of damage. Absurd can get up some heals, and now Jellybean's going to be charging in, looking for the trap once again, but everyone from the Super Rejects is sort of dogpiling in the situation. Envious are taking a huge amount of damage before Polo even goes into the trap. Polo tried to pre-spirit link the freezing trap there. Jellybeans didn't fall for it. He still got it. He's dipping low, though. I'm not sure how much time Jellybeans can spend out here on top of the dog pile of two shamans and a druid. Envious in trouble. If they can get the freezing trap. And there's the freezing trap. Envious and Smexen both very vulnerable. This is match point. Super Rejects currently in sixth place. They need a first place finish if they want to keep their dreams alive to qualify to BlizzCon later this year. Polo doing everything in his power, dropping that Healing Tide totem, boosting his team back to life. Finally, some semblance of counter pressure. Jelly Beans down to half. Abstridge trying to recover. Yeah, Envious is just taking so much pressure. Polo pulling out that Ascendance, empowering his healing. Envious gets topped off. Smexen gets topped off, but that's really the last line of defense. If you look, Polo, no Trinket, no Link. Envious, no Bark Skin, no Renewal, no nothing. This next trap on Colo is going to be devastating. Colo gets interrupted. Envious rotting down low. They have their CC chain almost available. The Ghost Super Crew wants to get that CC. They can finally take down Envious. All right, Jelly Beans and WizK still dipping low as we move into deep, deep dampening. Absturge is roughly a little behind on mana from Colo. Smexen taking some huge hits here. Jelly Beans has coordinated assaults. He could definitely engage in huge burst damage here. He's going to just pull the trigger, going after Smexen, trying to get that Veiled Eye out of the way or maybe force Astral Shift as well. Now switching to Envious, not wasting a single point of damage, switching to multiple targets and taxing Colo's mana in the process. Envious trading out thorns to try and make them switch targets again, but a full freezing trap has been secured. Smexen's in trouble if he doesn't respond in time. Dampening is starting to mount up. He will trade out that Astral Shift. Colo with no Trinket, Smexen with no Astral Shift. That's a win condition for the Gosu crew in another 20 seconds, roughly. Yeah, WizK has offensive cooldowns available as well, coming up quite shortly. So that's going to be very, very scary for the Super Rejects. Jellybeans gets caught into the stun. Absurd able to dispel it. Nice wind shear coming in from Smexen to slow down some of Absurd's healing. There's a full trap there on Polo. This could be the potential victory for the Gosu crew. Smexen gets caught into the stun. Trinket props. He trinkets out of that as well. Getting lower and lower. Jellybeans doesn't want to get caught in the cross oh. kill though. As he dips low, Aspect of the Turtle is going to be used. Absurd has to avoid two wind shears from the Super Rejects. He did get caught by one of them, and that's why Jellybeans got dipped so low. Nice wild growth from Whiskey there, helping Absturge pick his team back up. Wild growth, a new addition in Battle for Azeroth. If you take the Restoration Affinity, it's an area of effect heal. Really good, nice usage from Whiskey there with that. They are just retreating, waiting for an opportunity here. Smexen still with no Astral Shift for 28 seconds. He's likely to be the target, even potentially envious. Colo sitting up for a drink. Jellybeans denies it. Really good there. They need to make sure that Colo doesn't reset his mana bar. That would definitely make it almost impossible for them to win. Freezing trap secured. Smexen likely the target here. They really need to get a kill. Polo, one second left on this freezing trap. Likely has to trinket. Trinket spear link gets traded out. That's a significant lead now for the Gosu crew. Yeah, Smexen. I don't know if he's going to get caught up in this situation. Envious looking for some counter pressure onto Jelly Beans, but Abster's still in a good spot. Polo gets interrupted. Gets the Earthen Shield totem down, though. That's going to be fading very shortly. That is one of the last lines of defense for the Super Rejects. Smexen does have Astral Shift available for the next trap on Colo, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Polo gets caught into the trap. Smexen has to use that tanky cooldown for himself. Getting lower and lower. Colo has a moment now to get some heals off. He has the Ascendants available as well. But they make it swap to Colo, putting a lot of damage over onto him. He's forced to use the Astral Shift as well. Ghostly Crew is just all over the map on this, this game. I mean, with dampening so high, why not? He's there. He may as well hit him a little bit. Both teams in a lot of trouble. We might be getting to a point where cross kills are potentially going to be happening. Envious taking some damage. WizK dipping low now as well. Good Cyclones from Envious. Will they have enough damage oh, to close? Now for the trap. It. There's nothing left for Smexen. He's going to trade out those bandages, try and hug Colo and hope that he stays alive. He's caught into a bash now. Envious gets interrupted on the clone. It's three on one. 
no more crowd control left. He's on the run. Colo's doing it, keeping Smexen alive. Now Absurd's on the back foot and trying to recover from the brunt of this exchange. Dampening just getting higher and higher. Envious has incarnation rolling, and the Gosu crew have to abort. They're going to have to pull back and allow Absurd to top them off. But as soon as they get topped off, they're going to be moving in, looking for another trap onto Colo. And I don't know if Envious or Smexen is going to be able to really respond. They could actually just go after Envious in this situation. He doesn't have anything. No bar skin, no renewal, no trinket. Colo doesn't have trinket for 20 seconds. If you catch him in any sort of crowd control, it could definitely be the game. But it looks like Smexen is the target choice for them. K trying to get some pressure out. But in the meantime, you can see Jelly Beans is splitting damage onto Envious. Now if he moves in, gets the trap on Colo. There's two good targets for the Gosu crew. Four seconds, but it's, they don't even need it. That was a huge bite. The Gosu crew are going to walk away with the series in the lower bracket finals. The Super Rejects are in dire straits for their bliss. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into the this tournament. Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.